the Fayetteville Firefighter Association is partnering with the Spark Foundation to host the Hero Half Marathon. We have Antoinette joining us. She is with the Spark Foundation, and she's got details on how you can get involved. Hi, Antoinette. Hi, Antoinette. Hello, thanks Hello. for uh, letting me join you today. Absolutely. Yeah, thanks for so us. this event's been going on for multiple years, but some folks mm -hmm. are still unfamiliar. So tell us, what is the event all about? The event is about community, honestly. Um, it's hosted by the Spark Foundation. We're a local nonprofit that it, we focus on opportunities of health and fitness. And part of the race is firefighters get to run in their gear. And proceeds from the event will sponsor not only the Spark Foundation and our mission, but also the local firefighters in Fayetteville. I love that. How long have you been a runner, Antoinette? Because I know you run. Um, <laughs> Technically, I guess I've always run. Um, my mom put me in soccer at like four, but I came back to running as a sport as an adult maybe four or five years ago. Yeah, and you've got various options for people to get involved with this, right? I'm reading that there's kind of an in-person event, but there's also virtual options and people of a lot of levels can participate. So can you kind of fill our audience in on what they can expect? Absolutely. Um, because of COVID-19, we wanted to offer some virtual options as well as some in-person options. So if you're feeling comfortable, um, our in-person race is October 25th. We have the half marathon. We are also offering new this year a quarter marathon. And the relay will be basically running the quarter marathon with a buddy. If you're not comfortable running in person, we have virtual options and you can run anytime between the 25th and November 8th. So you got quite a bit of time there if you're interested in the yeah, virtual sure. race. Now, is it too late to sign up for these or do you still have availability? Oh, absolutely. You can still sign up at um, herohalfmarathon.com. If you want to run the virtual option, you can sign up all the way through November 8th. Yeah. Oh, perfect. One of my favorite things about this is that the, the heroes, the firefighters, sometimes get out there and run in their gear. Is yes. that happening again this year? It is. We ha we do have folks from uh, here locally and from out of state who will be running in their gear. Um, our firefighters will have a special slot. They will be starting at 8 o'clock. Um, one of the things that we're doing this year to help keep people socially distanced is giving them certain start times so we don't have everybody all at the start line at once. Great. What's your earliest start time on that day? Our earliest start time is 6 a.m. and we'll wow. be sending out information about um, what corral you're in shortly. So if you're wanting to sign up, don't delay. Go ahead and do that right right now. Oh, well, it's a great time for us to be talking about it then. Obviously, 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. seems super early for right. people to get up and running, but I get guess coffee. that's what runners do, right? <laughs> Got to get up and go running. Um, yeah, a lot of runners run that early and also we thought it was a good um, safety precaution as we were thinking about the ways we wanted to switch and uh, adapt for COVID. Um, mm -hmm. There are fewer people on the trail at that time of day. There are fewer um, traffic stops. Um, it is a self-supported race, so we will not have volunteers out there um, blocking the roads. So we just thought that would be safer. Yeah, I like that. Tell us one more time where these proceeds, where they go to benefit. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, again, proceeds will be split between the Spark Foundation and the um, Fayetteville Firefighters Union. Um, with, like I said, with the um, Spark Foundation, our mission is to support, uh, to increase access to health and fitness opportunities and education. So we have different programs. Um, our school programs are on pause right now, again, with COVID. Mm -hmm. um, but we are putting on races like the Hero Half Marathon. And then um, we want to support our local firefighters who, because of the pandemic, have not had some of the fundraisers they usually do. Um, one of their biggest ones is Mike's Blues and Barbecue, and they weren't able to do right. that this year. So yeah. this will help them out. Yeah, for sure. Well, thank you, Antoinette, for joining you, us. Antoinette. Of course, we're going to have information over on our website, gooddaynwa.com. Yep. If you feel like signing up for the race, if you feel like you're ready.